That dear boy is a tramp stamp. Have no fear, Liam. Are you retarded? If retarded means having an extra long, unordinary male penis eye, then yes, you see. Yes, I am. <laughs> Did I get you a little wet, wet? He's coming. And then it happened. Uh, nice off. Let's talk power. God bless motherfucking America. Ah, your built in stress relief, mood enhancer. Sweeter than wine. Yes, Eater is here to eat that ass. Now be a good little girl for me and open up wide. Fuck, I didn't mean to open my eyes. My nuts feel like tadpole. The royal penis is unclean. Who's down for a little hand job? Yeah. Oh, that feels great. <laughs> a jog a day keeps the facts away. Just another conservative white male. Try to make make America great again. Fuck who these faggots. Warren, take this phone back. Touch my ass and get shot. What's the crowd for? When the god tarnishing is going down over here. Now Thor is gay. Well, do you really think I have had enough of this bullshit? Lock and loady time. You say reversal bull. Roll, bitch, roll. This should be fun. Someone shoot this Iggy as a little looking bitch. <laughs> West side till we die, bitches. Side of the cock, anyone? Gang, you had to get one. I'm a Coke fan, and you look way too much like Shaq. And... Oh yeah, you're gay. Ladies, I want to let you know I'm emotionally unavailable. But I do fuck on a first date. And I do take tips. Freaky ass need to stay the ass inside. Mine are in the face ass bitch. Now that right there is a vehicle, ladies and gentlemen. This bad boy started out as a military juggernaut. Yeah, built in the 70s for armies and dictators who needed something tough enough to drive through wars and look sexy in a Gucci ad. Think of it as Rambo meets James Bond, but with better gas mileage. Sort of. Let's talk off-roading. This thing eats dirt for breakfast, lunch, and a midnight snack. The G-Wagon doesn't care if it's climbing a mountain, crossing a river, or smashing through your ex's front lawn. It's like the Terminator, but for mud and rocks. You want to take the road less traveled. PFT, this thing makes the road less traveled. My mind's telling me no. But my body. Shout out to my boy Morgan for fucking with us. Baby. Directed by Warren. But there is something that I must confess to you. I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. With a little bump and grind. Nothing wrong. Hey, baby. Hey, I. Oh, great. Another concert, man? Does this guy ever shut up, Bump and Grind? Yeah, how about Bump can get thrown off a cliff? He's talking about his legendary tracks while conveniently forgetting the whole underage thing. Disgusting. What the guards didn't see, I, I simply didn't do. Go ahead and start and make the pussy fart and we'll so why you do it. fail. Looks like I'm gonna have a busy night, folks. That's right, yours truly, Deadpool's getting back to all 50 of my baby mamas. 50, that's like almost a football team of unborn spawn. I know what you're thinking, Deadpool? How do you keep up with that many women? Easy, I don't. But hey, what's a little irresponsibility between friends, right? 
no more. See, I love it when your hoes take it to the floor, baby. Bounce, big it bounce, huh? It's on you, shout it. You can twerk, you can stir it if you want. Uh, nothing like a good old house party. I mean, I could have gone with drones, but this, way more subtle. Chimichanga and tacos, here are my four-legged film crew. Capturing all the real party moments, toes, shoes, the occasional accidental upskirt oops. I know, I know it sounds bad, but let's be honest. If Tarantino can have a whole foot fetish on screen, why can't I have a little fun too? The boss would like to have a word with your dead ass. Like dead ass in New York pizza or dead asses in a dead donkey? Either way, I'm down for a little gay shit that I got a few drinks in me. Look across from you, dead boy. Make this easy. So nobody gets hurt? What the fuck? Bro, needs the mask more than I do. Oh shit, when the fuck we get the budget for Arnold and the Rock? Okay, so who invited the Virgin Twins to the party? For a long time, Deadpool. Put your hands to the sky. Don't make me have to kill any of these lovely girls. Cool, bro. You got it. Just spread the peanut butter when you fuck me in the ass. This is gay. Huh, what happened? Fuck, I can't feel my dick. Uh, oh, that's not good. Who are you, what do you want with me? Your trouble pass is brought to you here. Fuck you mean? I was with my bitches and got my ass dragged down to this unisex duchy party. At least if I was gonna come down, you were gonna deliver. You can't even put out shit. Silence. I'll bring you to your truth. Mom, Mom, is that you? Mom, is that you? Mom? Mommy? Uh, 1981. What a year! Before the internet, before TikTok, before anyone cared about spoiler alerts. I was just a kid running down the street with a teddy bear in one hand and a knife in the other. Yeah, it was that kind of childhood. Picture this. Me, a pint-sized, bloodthirsty maniac. Sprinting down the block like I'm in an 80s action montage. Saw my mom all beat up blood everywhere and this sleazy pimp standing over her like he was auditioning for a bad gangster movie. So what did I do? I did what any future mercenary would do. Yeah, so the only problem is I was a horrible hot as a kid, and I ended up shooting my mom twice in the head. She died on impact. Bad news. Good news her pimp Willie. And I kept a strong relationship till this day. So, you might be wondering what I learned after the whole oops shot my mom fiasco. Well, let me tell you, it was a real eye-opener. First less, never mix action hero dreams with actual firepower when you're six years old. Turns out the aim's a bit off when you're more focused on being a pint-sized Avenger than, you know, actually hitting your target. Hey guys, I'm Deadpool. I'm sure my fucking outfit gave it away. Welcome to Behind the Scenes, kind of live old DVDs. Here's what we got cooking up next. In the shadows of a world where the line between technology and treachery blurs, lives a man. He's got a fleet of multi-million dollar rides, Rolls Royces that purr with the whispers of Solana's meme coins and CTO communities like Punkit. This guy is not just playing the game, he's rewriting the rules. 
And let's not forget Anson, the so-called savior of Solana. He's got a halo that's about as real as his promises. While he's busy flexing his crypto biceps, the government's playing their own dirty game, trying to muscle in on a decentralized revolution. They want a piece of the pie, but their attempts to strangle the freedom of the blockchain are nothing more than a pitiful centralized power play. This isn't his fight, this is your arena. You're not just a spectral force, you're the embodiment of vengeance justice and a hell of a lot of fiery retribution. In a world where crypto and evil meets no bounds. The so-called evil artist who thinks he's the top dog in this twisted showdown. Um, but here's the truth. Terminator, he's nothing but a scrap metal wannabe trying to play in the big leagues. <laughs>